Hi guys, this video is featuring my little cousin and it's the kimono sewing tutorial. For this project, you will need your favorite cover up, two and a half yards of material, scissors, pins, fabric chalk, a measuring tape, a sewing machine, and if you're anything like me, a seam ripper. I'm not sure if you remember, but this cover up was featured in one of my earlier videos, a Get Ready With Me, and my cousin liked the cover up and wanted me to make her one in a different fabric. So, I took my favorite cover up and she got this nice reggae wave print fabric and I'm simply going to use my cover up as a base and cut out that cover up shape using her fabric. So, here it is. I basically used my cover up as a stencil and now I have paddles of her fabric in the shape of my initial cover up. And I try to stay as symmetrical as possible. So before I get into the nitty gritty of this project, I want to advise you to secure the edges of your fabric, especially if you're working with chiffon. So here I'm just applying a zigzag stitch all around the perimeter of each panel of fabric that I have cut out. Because this is going to help to secure my edges from fraying when I use it in my day-to-day -day attire. Now I have all of my panels secure. I now want to line up the body of my cover-up. This is right side facing and I'm using pins to secure the sides of my cover-up. As a beginner, this is what I like to do to ensure faster sewing when I get to the machine. I want you to recognize that I did not stitch right onto the edge of my fabric because I wanted to give myself some seam allowance for when I want to clean up my seams later on in my project. So to get a better idea of the sleeve size, I'm now going to accurately line up the sleeves and I'm going to use pins to make sure that I get the correct width. The measuring tape was also very essential to make sure that they were equal. Then use this one that I already did to correctly map out on the other sleeve. So now that we have already finished the body of the cover up, I'm now going to use my black cover up to mark out the sleeve holes. So I simply use some fabric chalk, I map that out and then fold over the other side, use the chalk again and now I securely know where I need to cut. So before I cut out the sleeve pole, I used some pins as a guideline as you can see here. And now I'm also going to be pinning the shoulders to show where I'm going to sew. After stitching the shoulders, I'm left with the sleeve pole. First I match up the seams right sides together and then I attach the sleeve to the sleeve pole using pins. Ta-da! After stitching the sleeve onto the sleeve pole, all that's left to do is to clean up these seams and that is going to send us directly to the ironing board. I fold the fabric once, then press, fold it again, then press it one more time before I head back to the sewing machine to secure these ends. And there you have it, nice, clean, crisp seams. On this set of Lee Alicia's YouTube channel. <laughs> Guess who's being featured? Jamie! Jamie! Come for me, Arna. I'm looking good. I am for me, I'm on. It's about time we really let me into this little situation. Where, where you at? Where you at, though? Where you 